A very good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Expresso. Now, the big news this week, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, is in South Africa to meet the community to have an official visit with President Jacob Zuma. And we know that Prime Minister Modi is applauded worldwide as a leader whose commitment to the implementation and fast-tracking of projects in his country has gained him a huge amount of respect. And he had to tell us a little bit more about the visit is a representative from South Africa welcomes Modi's committee, Jawahir Ananda. Jawahir, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Graham. Thanks a lot. Why are we so excited about the visit, a visit of uh, Prime Minister Modi? What is it about this man that seems to have got the attention, the imagination of the world? Well, look, first of all, uh, on behalf, I would like to introduce and welcome uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi to South Africa. And uh, it's really exciting for the community because we are undergoing a huge transformation. And this is a man, he's very unique. He's very unique to the politics of India. He's brought in a fresh breath of air. He's brought in the, uh, what we say, a new Mahatma moment. So, Narendra Modi has uh, come up with so many projects uh, in the governance of India, and he's fast-tracked. He's made economic development the mantra for India. And he has got a very engaging style. He connects, he connects with people, and he goes back to the basics to what small things that matter to a common man. And uh, no wonder that he has got huge acclaim. Furthermore, he's also touched base with the Indian community worldwide. And specifically to that question, uh, there are two uh, key uh, uh, projects that he has come up with. One is the Smart City and the Swachh Bharat campaign. The Swachh Bharat campaign is uh, working towards uh, unified uh, work towards the uh, uh, cleanliness and hygienic India. Secondly is the smart cities. He's identified 20 cities and he wants to grow those cities interconnected in such a way that contributes to the economic development of the country. So much to learn from a South African perspective. I know that the South African Indian community, which is massive, very excited to have him here, but there is something that South Africa as a country can learn. What is he going to be getting up to while he's out here? Uh, look, uh, it's, uh, we, uh, India and South Africa has got a long history, a long relationship. And we also belong to similar organizations, one of them which is BRICS. So economic development is on our agenda as well. So we come from a similar kind of problems. So we, we face similar problems, we face similar issues. So there is so much to exchange. So this visit is, I would say, looking at it from an exchange perspective, uh, some of the projects that I mentioned, the Swachh Bharat, the smart cities, we can adopt this where it's mutually beneficial especially on the investment side of infrastructure. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, maybe you can just confirm that obviously the Prime Minister is going to be addressing South African um, members of the Indian diaspora and anyone who's welcome there to Ticker Pro Dome today. Yes, yes. Uh, he's going to be addressing today at the Dome in Johannesburg. Uh, and uh, we welcome everybody because this is going to be the moment. A rare opportunity. A rare opportunity. Um, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Joa here, and we certainly off also offer our very warm welcome to the Prime Minister as well. But I think a wonderful opportunity for two growing nations to share in some real frontline new technology and ideas, which is a wonderful thing. Thank you so much Super. for joining thank us. Thanks a lot, Graham. Thanks and well, a lot. Time now to keep an eye on what's been breaking, not just here in South Africa, but globally on the news front.